Season 3 of The Boys wrapped a few weeks ago. I'm late to the party talking about it, but as a matter of fact, I'm late to the party talking about The Boys in general. It's a show that I've watched since the day it came out on Amazon Prime. Loved every season, uh, with a couple caveats, mostly from this last one. But we're going to talk about it, mostly Season 3 right now, so if you haven't seen the final episode or Season 3 in general, maybe, maybe don't watch this. For the one of you that doesn't know, The Boys is a hit show on Amazon Prime. Yes, they have a, a decent show. It's amazing. Actually, Invincible's a fantastic one as well. Both superhero, anti-hero type of shows where they flip the script, they're super hard R, there's a lot of blood and guts and nudity and swearing and everything I love in this world. They both also pose the same question. What would happen in a real world scenario if there were people with superpowers like Superman? Would he be a goody two shoes or would he most likely be an asshole? The boys goes for the latter approach right out of the gate. The show's main protagonist is Huey Campbell played by Dennis Quaid. Nope, I'm sorry. His son, Jack Quaid, who oftentimes looks identical to his father. Good for you for forging your own path in Hollywood. It's so refreshing to see actors make it on their own and definitely not because their parents were in the industry. I'm not bitter. That set aside, he plays a decent, if not outright annoying and frustrating at times, lead character here. The real star of the show, though, is Billy Butcher, played by the always fantastic Carl Urban. These two protagonists will often be at odds together, butting heads constantly, but they can't work. They can't really survive without one another. Well, that's... Eh, Billy could. Huey, Huey's pretty much useless trash without the Butcher. Butcher and his ragtag crew decide to let baby Huey join up with them after his girlfriend literally dies in his arms tonight. Must have been some kind of kiss. Nah, must have been some kind of flash. One of the opening moments in this show really sets the table for everything that's to come. All the horrifically gory goodness we're about to see unfold as A-Train Flash type character blows through the body of a girlfriend of Huey's. It, it's so awesome to see it. So out of nowhere. I, I mean, I knew nothing about the boys going in. I know it's based on, a, I believe, a series of comics, which aren't even as long as the show has run now, which is always troubling. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <clears throat> but it's done a pretty decent job maintaining the quality over the years. That is, until this last season, specifically the final episode that I thought not only dropped the ball for that specific episode, but of the entire season. It rendered the whole thing absolutely useless. For the humans, Billy Butcher's easily the highlight. Mother's Milk is fine. Frenchie can jump off a fucking cliff. I don't want to see any more Frenchie side stories. Okay, I'm done with you, dude. And stop pairing him with Kamiko to make him seem interesting. She's a treasure. Get her away from him. Anyway, the highlight of the superheroes is easily Homelander, who is basically evil Superman. The guy is a beast. He has tons of issues going on, especially when it comes to the mother. Uh, mommy issues, to say the least. And while Elizabeth Shue does a great job stepping in and playing that role, at least to a certain extent, uh, that well runs dry. And eventually so do those udders. And it causes Homelander to go even more unleashed. Superheroes are run by corporations, but by season three, it, that's flipped. This is not a subtle show by any stretch of the imagination. It's very much a reflection of what's going on in mainly American society today. And the show, much like South Park, does a great job making fun of every single angle. Whether it's a mega rally featuring a jackass dressed up as a bison, or a rendition of Gal Gadot singing Imagine, it's all there. It even does a great job making fun of not just superhero movies as we know them, but memes and different jokes based on characters like Ant-Man. Uh, you remember the Thanos meme of him blowing up inside the ass? Yeah, they do something even more vulgar than that in uh, season three. You got superhero Nazis, fish porn, superhero opiates, and a great varied collection of superheroes with tons of baggage. What made season one work so well is we take it from the vantage point of the little guy, looking up at the ivory tower of these superheroes that are larger than life. They can stop planes, or in some instances, choose not to. 
They have superhuman speed, they have impenetrable skin, and yet this crack squad of douchebags that barely can survive their own lives somehow manages to get underneath the skin of Homelander and his company. They even manage to get a supervillain, I mean they're superheroes but they're really bad guys, and kill the asshole. They're strategically picking them off, choosing their battlegrounds, and doing what they can to throw a wrench in the system. I kind of looked at them as a grungier version of the Ghostbusters, getting stuff done where they could, but they're by no means experts at anything. They're, they're kind of making it up as they go along. They also had a sliver of a moral compass outside of Butcher, but by season three, I just didn't even know who I was supposed to like anymore. It kind of had the Game of Thrones thing going on where I'm just like, who's good? Who, why do I care if anybody dies here? They're all garbage. Almost all of them. And that's really where season three falls apart for me, where the previous season, and especially the first, had the guys succeed at doing something, anything. By season three, they failed so many times, just a series of comical follies that I'm not even sure, like, what are they doing? Do they have jobs? How are they getting funded? The government's not helping them anymore. I mean, I have to get my ass up and put in some work if I want to pay my bills. These guys seem to have really nothing to worry about outside of just surviving the day and not getting their heads blown off, which is a problem. It's definitely a problem. But then they introduce another layer to the show. Now we have an anti-Captain America type character, Soldier Boy, who they bring out of like a cryogenic freeze to kill Homelander. And by the end of the season, they get him in that exact position to do such a thing and drop the fucking ball for no reason. That last episode was a disaster of, of just illogical situations and the writing staff seems to have written them into a corner where they didn't really know a good way to get out of it so they're like, eh. Soldier Boy's up in the tower. He can easily destroy Homelander by doing his little orgasm laser beam which reminded me of the, the Herogasm episode. Funny stuff, good stuff. Anyway, he doesn't do it because Butcher's afraid he's gonna kill the kid. Well, the little beam thing that he does takes away the superpowers. I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill the person. And his son is a soup too. So it wouldn't have killed him, it just would have taken away the powers. So that excuse was just ridiculous. Also, Butcher's supposed to be an asshole that doesn't really care about anything. Even the kid would be collateral damage in his eyes. Up until this episode, at least. Now it's suddenly like off limits. Then we have the Wonder Woman thing where she throws him out the window. I mean, it was just so, so badly executed. And again, I just wonder what was the point of any of it other than to pad out and slow burn more seasons of this show. It would have been far more fascinating had Homelander lost his abilities and we would have had to deal with him as a human being, not able to fly around, not move vehicles, but still, being a deadly force because he could rile up this army, this cult following that he's amassed so far. But instead, it's just one more layer. There's a head popping lady, we have Captain America in the weeds, Black Noir just unceremoniously died. Uh, after a really weird kind of premise where he's seeing cartoon creatures because half of his brain is gone. I don't know, to me season 3 was just kind of a hodgepodge of ideas that never really congealed into a great finale. And because of that, the entire season was pretty much a wash. Outside of the fact that now we have a V that can be induced and possibly kill you. We know Butcher doesn't have a lot longer to live, we'll see how that plays out. But honestly, I don't really care that much, which is a bummer. And for the love of God, stop the Frenchy side stories, I don't care. I just don't. Maybe people do? Frenchie fans, comment below. And I really do want to hear from you guys on this one. I know I, I was like talking fast and loose, skipping a ton of key points, but that that's not really what this video is about. It was just about to say, hey, I do really like The Boys. It's a solid show. It's got lots of creative ideas. I like how it flipped the whole superhero thing on its head. Even though superheroes are really getting played out it's still an enjoyable watch with interesting characters. However, this season really fell apart at the end. Doesn't mean I'm done with it. Uh, we, we can have speed bumps and still salvage it in the next season. And I hope, I'm very hopeful that they do. Let, let's get back to the wow factor and not so much laying up pieces that might inevitably get knocked down in season seven. I'm not interested in padding. I'm interested in results. 
All right, let me know in the comments. I'm probably dead wrong. There's probably a ton of people that love this season, just think the show is a A plus all around. That's fine. Tell me I'm wrong. Convince me that this was a great finale and it made perfect sense for all these characters. Uh, if you're like me though, and you thought, really? This is, this is the best we could come up with here? I wanna hear from you too. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show related content all the time. Would love to have you stick around. You can join me next time. Take care. I will say this, the boys as disappointed as the season was for me, far better than all the trash that's been on Disney Plus so far. All those streaming shows are pretty awful outside of The Mandalorian. I very much looked forward to watching The Boys every single time it was on and I was bummed out at how quickly it went by. That's a testament to a good show when it keeps you wanting and excited to watch the next episode and not just being like, okay, Miss Marvel, let's see how miserable this season is. And since you stuck around, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. It's just a way to say, Adam, I like your stuff. Continue doing what you're doing. Here's a buck a month or five bucks. Stay the course. And I appreciate it.